Hi, I am going to walk you through with this uh, pressure calibrator, uh, which is uh, used to calibrate the uh, uh, pressure gauges. Uh, we can see that this pressure calibrator is having two gauges now. This is the one which is master. This is used for the master. And this is the one which is the gauge under calibration. So we'll have hundreds of these gauges uh, which would be required to calibrate uh, under this master. So we'll keep this master constant and this gauge under calibration will keep on getting calibrated and uh, we'll replace it. Now uh, the basic parts of this uh, pressure calibrator we can see that these are the handle, uh, the four uh, these handles which we can uh, turn clockwise or anti-clockwise. Clockwise will generate the pressure and anti-clockwise generate the vacuum. Uh, if you see this is the can which is having oil basically. We are using oil in this case because this gives better precision. This is just a 20W40 oil which, uh, which is basically used in uh, putting into engine of bike or any other vehicle. So we have put it to half if you can see that. And this is this can be opened. and closed. Now um, we can also see that this particular bar can move clockwise and anti-clockwise and when you put this oil this basically goes to both the gauges to the master and to the gauge under calibration. So we can see if this is having 10 kg per centimeter square this should have 10 kg per centimeter square which means there is no error but if the gauge under calibration is showing as 11 or 12 it means that there is a drift of 1 or 2 kg per centimeter square ok we will just try to show you some of the other standard uh, accessories which are provided along with the pressure calibrator there are basically 6 bolts or the adapters so we will have gauge of different uh, thread size for that we will be having gauges of different thread size that is if you can see half inch BSP 1 by 8 inch BSP 1 by 4 NPT and 3 by 8 BSP two more adapters are put in here which is 1 by 4 inches BSP and this one is uh, 1 by 4 inch again the same is because the thread size of gauges will differ the other thing uh, which you can see is the washer and the o-rings which will be provided now. Uh, ensure that when you are uh, putting this gauge onto this thread you should be using this kind of teflon tape now this teflon tape basically seals the uh, the gauge and it will not allow the oil to come out otherwise you will face leakages uh, we'll just put this on and just try to see if the gauge pressure gauge is showing the values Okay, so I can see that this is showing as 18 kgs per centimeter square and if you see the gauge under calibration it is showing as almost 20. almost near to 20, uh, 20 if, if this is a least count of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we can see that it's almost like into 18 and if I try to decrease this it will go on decreasing. So I'll just put it back again to zero. And 
try to create pressure again. Okay, so if you can see this master, it is showing as 29 kg per centimeter square approximately. And I just go to the gauge under calibration. So it's almost like 30 kg per centimeter square little lesser than 30 which means that this is uh, having a little drift now I'll try to increase that if you can see I've increased it to 34 35 I've increased to 34 And you see that this also has crossed a little more than 30 so I'm just increasing you see okay, this is the basic principle of how we have to and we generally take this readings that how much is the drift basically before we uh, prepare this gauge to calibrate or to start the calibration process this instrument will come without this uh, uh, this uh, handles dismantled so we need to fit this handles actually these four handles and then we have to put the oil into this uh, cup and then what we have to do is when you have put the oil you have to take it full clockwise and then flip full anti-clockwise to release the vacuum inside and then you should be putting this these gauges actually with the help of the adapter don't forget to use this uh, teflon tape while putting this otherwise your gauge will start leaking and you must be sure what is the range of this master and the gauge under calibration while doing the calibration apart from that i would like to highlight that this uh, calibrator is having a range of 0 to 400 kgs per centimeter square or 0 to 400 per bar. Well, that's all about it. And uh, if you want to know more about pressure calibrator and related instrument, you can always reach www.instrucard.com and talk to our expert to get the right buying suggestion. Thanks for watching.